I saw a video recently where this probably about 60 some year old older black woman uh, pretty much got escorted, kicked off a flight, you know, left in handcuffs because she would not comply. And today we're gonna talk about it. Righteous, spiritful episode. Today I'm back at an in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, let me tell you something because rebellious women are being exposed. Rebellious women are being exposed. Man, there's women out there that get away with their rebellion for the moment, but in these last days they're gonna get exposed. You know, not too long ago, we saw the, 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 the young black chick uh, who was a truck driver, I think, get arrested in Dubai and showed her ass. And that's what she got arrested for, for showing her ass, okay? And we saw her play the victim and Dubai didn't care nothing about that because she met her match. Man, there was a video where this 60 some year old black lady who didn't have a covering, pretty much takes one of these emergency exit seats on the flight. And anybody that's traveled and flown around knows that they will ask, are there any volunteers that want to sit in the emergency uh, aisle and you can have this increased leg room? And in order to volunteer for that, you must be willing to fulfill a duty of assisting others in the event of an emergency. And otherwise, you're not gonna be able to uh, take this uh, long leg room seat, this uh, highly desirable seat, and sit on your ass and, and not help in the event of an emergency. But that's what this 60 some year old black woman did. And when the flight attendant came to give her the instructions on in the event of an emergency, we're gonna need you to do X, Y, and Z. She copped an attitude. She copped an attitude with this flight attendant. She went in so far as trying to gain uh, the vote of the public court of opinion, people on the aircraft. She delayed the flight. People got connecting flights they gotta make. This is how inconsiderate this old black woman without a covering was. And she tries to, to argue with the flight attendant saying, well, everybody on this plane, everybody around here, we all agree. And, it, and it, she came to find out the hard way and she had to find out the hard way that ain't nobody agree with her. There ended up being another black lady trying to come talk some sense into this old woman who didn't have a covering. And that didn't work. She went and sat back down. She went as far as to start trying to shame the flight attendant cracking jokes on her. But you know what? Checkmate. Checkmate. Rebellious women will be held accountable. Man, that flight attendant went and got, it might have been the crew chief, uh, you know, tried for him to, to de-escalate the situation, get this woman to comply, still wouldn't comply. Looked like she went and got somebody um, from, from baggage detail, still didn't comply. Here come these two police officers. They made the whole plane get off. Everybody on that plane, they made everybody get off. And then we all know that they have the little on-ramp that swings out and connects to the plane. And there's that staircase that goes down to the actual flight line. Everybody is sitting there watching as this rebellious old black woman without a covering uh, gets handcuffed and acting like she can all of a sudden, she can't walk down these steps as they put her in, these, in, these, in this doggone police car. And you know what the front of her shirt said? God. What God do these people serve? Man, the importance of having a covering is 
a covering will be a mediator for you, especially when it comes to a woman that's rebellious. A man will help save you from a lot of that foolishness. Man, when I see my wife about to go off on the deep end and I'm the covering, I keep her blameless. No, you don't need to handle that. You're driven by emotions. You're gonna get in a shouting match where I will handle it and state facts according to logic, reasoning. And if it's dealing with men, there has to be some level of mutual respect. If not, it's all out war. And that's the benefit of having a covering. Somebody to uh, speak on your behalf to where when your emotions trigger you, you can no longer articulate yourself uh, and maintain good order, conduct, and discipline. And we're seeing a lot of these young women out here that try to move like they're independent and don't need nobody, that are rebellion, they're getting dealt with. They are getting dealt with. There's a, 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 a black female mayor that's rebellious, caught scamming and policing the flock. Her own people getting dealt with, getting dealt with. There's a, you know, there's another lady who claims herself to be a, 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 a business mogul, you know, a, a black female trucking pioneer under indictment for scamming, rebellious, no covering. All of these women I'm giving you example of, these black women, no covering. And they'll sit up and tell you, you don't need one. Yeah, you don't need one. But guess what? My wife stays blameless. My wife don't have to leave in handcuffs because she's got a covering that can de-escalate the situation. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, I, I'll take care of it, ma'am. I'll take care of it. Thank you for doing your job. Hey, we took these seats. We need to fulfill a duty. If we're not going to fulfill this duty, we need to get our ass in the back. That's what a covering would do. That's logic and reasoning. But this lady uh, uh, was provoked because here is a woman com coming trying to get her to perform the duties that she said she would would perform, but no. She want to sit her old butt in the seat and not fulfill a duty and thinks nobody was going to call her on it. Rebellious women will get held accountable in the last days. There's nothing you can do about it. And the problem is a lot of these women have gone on majority of their lives unhinged to the point where uh, it, it, it has to get to the point where they're leaving in handcuffs. You got to think about that. You have the, the whole plane and you think uh, you're a victim? This lady tried to act like she was a victim and the whole plane had to get, all the personnel on the plane had to get escorted off just to deal with her doggone trifling butt. I'm telling you, man, you might, you might not want to be out here because uh, I've given you examples of you're gonna, you're going to have to comply. At some point, you might be saying, no, nah, I'm not complying to nothing and I'm not submitting nothing. Guess what that old lady, she submitted to them handcuffs. She submitted to that taser, committed to that gun. She might have not respected the people, but she respected the authority they had. They I'm telling you, you cannot play the victim after living rebellious like this. Living rebellious. Putting your hands all up in people's face that's trying to help you out. Man, surprised this old lady didn't get tased and that didn't make headlines. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Wow.